Hey guys, it's Alan Captain Boy returning to you with um one of my my first review for this for the beginning of the school year. Um, um I'm just gonna have to tell you right now that um my reviews that the reviews in all movies and movie animations they're gonna be cut short because of the school year and um yes. as you can see um I just started high school again uh, high school and um as a freshman and I am Hopefully gonna get it this March, gonna get my license this March. And here are all my books. There's one, two, three, four, like five textbooks stacked up here. But what I really want to show you guys is um the predator that I got. This guy's just pretty amazing. I found him, I finally found it, um they finally were released. And I did not this is gonna be some bad news for you guys, um you will not be finding these in Toys R Us. For a while, because they, they're not gonna get in stock till I think next summer they told me. But the good news is you can find loads of this. I mean, crap loads of these guys in FYE. Now that's a real store, not like Toys R Us has thousands of toys, but it has its own action figure section. It's just action figures for kids like Halo, Gears of War, Tron, Endless Predator, all that like movie action figures, McFarlane, NECA, like that. Um, and yeah, just let me show you the box. Of course, all these boxes have on the. Predator 2 sign, um, a bit of a um, bio, character bio on the bottom right there, the name. This side just, it's open showing you the Predator. Same for this side. Um, again up there it says name, Elder Predator. And of course, these boxes come with a mask. You can tell that the Predator 2 mask, Hunter, Predator Hunter, City Hunter, I forgot his name. Um, his mask does not fit, fit on the box correctly, correctly because the box was originally made to fit Berserker Predator's mask, which is bigger. So yeah. So his mask would be all the way down here, up, and goes all around, because he's got a bigger head, bigger mandibles. And now on the back, it shows what else is available. Predator Hound, I'm going to buy him tomorrow, hopefully. And this guy, maybe next week. But I'm not sure if I can go tomorrow, so stay tuned. Um, it also has um, the name up there, the bio. Other Predator is the ancient veteran leader of the Lost Predators, and his gifts, and he gives Detective Harrigan his pistol as a sign of respect, as capable hunter and honorable warrior. Weapons, Eliasis, Golden Angel, Greyback, weapons, 18th century, Flint's block, pistol, cutlass. And there's a pretty good picture of the action figure right there. Well, um, guys, um, please stay tuned in for the review up next. Thank you. Here it is on the Predator box. The box. Um, Okay, um, here are the Predator's two accessories. He comes with his cutlass, cutlass, um, or a machete type thing. See that? He could, like, cut you with it. It's like a blade, because he's old. They used to use this instead of the blades, so he still has it, because he's, like, a really old Predator. He's, like, thousands of years old or something. And here's uh, the flint pistol. And this part right here is actually articulated. Not, not this part, but um, yeah, there. This part right here actually articulated right there. So you just load it like this. You load it. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it would fire. Also, for our accessory, he has the the, the plasma caster. It's pretty much the same with all the predators. Not much of a difference. Same, but it's darker, more weathered. It's a little darker, more weathered. I know. So it is a little different. I will get it. I will get the predator and um, show it to you. So a comparison. Well, um. Yes, the plastic are the same. No much of a difference other than the coloration. So if you can see there. See this one. See it with the camera. And now this one. 
don't know if the camera can, if you can see this with this camera or something, I'm not sure. But it's very detailed, too. You can see all that? Very well detailed. So, yeah. They're pretty much the same thing. Just different coloration. And this one's a little meant to be more weathered, and it looks more weathered. And now, finally, for the Predator. Yes. The one you've been waiting the best part of this review. This guy is um, very, very well detailed and articulated, and that fresh new smell he has. Well, as soon as I saw him, like, I need to have this. I don't care how much it costs. I'm getting it. It's going to be mine, and yeah. Yeah. Let me start off with the detail. I don't know if you can see that, his face. Oh, new ball joints. His face looks very well detailed right there. Uh, yes. With all the little wrinkles and things he has. And his little chains that he has hanging, his little piercing on his mouth. His eyes look, they're all, they're, his eyes are really awesome. I love his eyes. I like a red. If you can see that, that looks so awesome right there. It looks so epic. His net suit is sculpted in there. It feels real, like real netting, but it's actually sculpted. And yeah, very detailed. No knitting on the arms, but he has like bumps, little ridges. Very detailed and um And this is what I the, the difference between this body and the other predator's bodies. His blades do extend and they're very long. But it's this part that's different right there. If you can see that. Right there. This part's difference. Different and now if I grab the classic predator's blades. They're they're the same length and everything, but that's different. See? I don't know if you can see that right there, um, but yes. Let me get to articulation now. Um, um, this predator has a very good ball joint, he ball jointed head. The head's just a regular ball joint. If you can see it right there, the arms are. Go in and out. So back and forth, and they bend at the at the elbow, and then they rotate outwards and inwards. The arms on the ball joint, and it goes. Basically, you can pose it any way you want. Very cool, predator. And, um, same for this arm, same for this hand is, um, on a ball joint, too. And, unfortunately, with these, with all the neck toys, neck predators, all of them, the wrist bracer of the wrist computer does not open for some reason. That would have given it more playability, but, um... Yeah, it's okay. And also, his hands have like this little spike on the side of it. Uh, that's because of old age, I think. Because the regular predators don't have it, the younger ones don't have it. I know that for sure. And um, Um, no waist articulation, unfortunately. The normal leg articulation, the uh, swivels right here, goes up and down right there. But it seems to be stiff now. I'm not going to force it. Um, the swivels right there, of course. The knees, both bent at the knees and swivels. The legs are swivel and goes up and down so the legs look pretty cool the feet I mean and um stay tuned and I will show a picture of him fully assembled okay 
here he is, fully assembled with uh, his plasma cast armor. Camera, I don't know if this camera works that well. Here he is assembled with the cutlass. See that? Cutlass. Here he is assembled with the with my pistol. It's very cool looking like this. And I just love the detail they put in. It looks very menacing. The face looks very menacing. This is just, to me, has to be the best NECA has done that I own from Series 2 or Series 3. Whichever one you guys like to use. It is Series 3, my bad. Um, but it looks pretty awesome. My regards, that NECA did a fantastic job with this Elder Predator. If they did this good with the Elder Predator, I can't wait to get the, the Predator 2 Hunter. The other Predators they're making, they're making more Predators. I really, they're making, um, the Predators from the scene on Predator 2. They're gonna, I think, hopefully they'll make the Predators from AVP. Come in, I'm here, the come in! Too. If they make them, it'll be, it'll be fantastic. I'm if here, come this, video, this part of the video, come on, kill me, I'm here! Video. That's it for I'm just gonna update you on the video this summer. Um, I mean, this school year. I may not be reviewing a lot of these videos, um, making a lot of these videos or reviews are not gonna happen as much. They're gonna be rare during the school year. Um, maybe on the weekend I'll make one if I have time, because remember, I gotta get my license. And, um, yes. And I will make animation from Pivot. Um, um, if I can't, I will make any more. This guy's a great addition to Predator Warrior's Fate. Maybe, um, another part from a separate plan. Trying to find some Predators and kids as well. I'm not sure. He's gonna have to incorporate the story somehow. Um, I'm gonna get these two Predator panels and, um, Classic Predator and, uh, Sears of the Chief. That one I'm gonna go by all the videos I need.